Hey yo, what is good guys? Thank you so much for clicking and joining me for another video and another reaction. And today guys, we're going to be diving into a brand spanking new album dropped by your boy Troy Savant. So yesterday, Troy Savant dropped his second studio album called Bloom and... There's been a lot of hype around this album. A lot of people that just have been waiting for Troy Savan to drop this. And I'm pretty excited to dive into this because there's a few tracks that I've listened to off Bloom already that I sincerely 100% enjoy. So I'm really excited to hear the rest of these tracks, to see what it brings, to see what it all sounds together in this piece of artwork and album that Troy Savan has dropped. So let's see if it lives up to its hype. Let's see what kind of content Troy Savan is bringing to the table. So we're going to jump into this, but before I do, guys, don't forget to go down, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, join the E2Reacts fam, because we are slowly but surely growing. Thanks to you guys. Love you guys so much. And also, don't forget to go check out Menlo Club. I'll leave the links down in the description below, but you can get, go check out the latest and greatest in Menlo Club fashion, especially upcoming September month packages. So you want to go check that out. I'll leave that link down in the description below. But that being said, guys, let's jump over here. Okay. So we're going to go through these tracks guys, there's, I believe there's 10 tracks total on this album which is beautiful, thank you Troy Savan, you know what you're doing, <laughs> um, you know that's awesome for us, but um, we're going to go through them, I'm going to be checking out the lyrics as I'm listening to the song just to get a bigger, deeper meaning and uh, try to actually understand the song. Uh, if I find anything interesting in the lyrics, I will pop, I will stop and I will pause them and I will pop them up right here so you guys can um, read them along with me, okay? Here, I've got the album sitting right in front of me and the first track is 17. I'm super excited to listen to the ones I do know, like the next one is My My My. That is a banger, that's a banger. Okay, so let's jump into this first track is 17, guys. Smash the like button if you're here for Troy Savon and if you're here for Bloom, smash the like button right now. Let's do it. I got these beliefs that I think you wanna break Got something here to lose that I think you wanna take from me Okay, so we kinda know where this is going But I wanna be awake You said age is just a number Just like any other We can do whatever, do whatever you Boy becomes a man now Voice to me is really, really well soft. Soft. It's got the tones. It's got the vocal range, but but it is very just soft and mellow. And I love that about Choice of Bond. That's something that I really, really just enjoy because you're listening to his music and his songs, and there's no screaming going on, no screamo shit going on. It's just vocals of an angel, man. All right, let's let's keep going. I said age is just a number, just like any other. We can do whatever, do whatever you want. Nice. Oh yeah, Troy, you're going to see some things you've never seen before, buddy. Alright guys, and that is 17, um, and well, I'm going to try to keep this PG-13 as possible, but Troy Savon is talking some pretty grown-up stuff. He has grown up, and at the age of 17, he went out looking for love for like, his first time, and he found some stuff that he wasn't expecting, but that's what you get when you go out looking for love that early in age, but he was he's just saying that that moment in time was real to him and he found what he was looking for and he found what he needed to see and so again when he went out there it was a real experience to him so he got to you know go out there and, and whether it was a good experience or not he lived it you know all right so that's 17 again 17 is pretty early age I'm almost 21 now almost 21 and 17 feels like such a long time ago I don't even know guys but that is good. I like that track a lot. I love the melody of it. It was just sounded really, really nice. So the next track is called My 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 Guys. And like I said, I've listened to this track a bunch of times. It's one of my favorites that I've listened to from Troy Savon 
in quite a while. So because I've listened to this track, um, I don't think I've actually seen the music video for it. So we're going to quickly watch the music video instead of listening to the songs. Alright guys, so we're going to just quickly go through this music video and see what it's talking about for my, my, my. Oh yeah, we are going all in for Troy Savant, guys. We're doing this for my boy. So we just had a warning for like too much lights. <laughs> Shine on diamond. The beat on this is my favorite, really, it is. It's, it's so dope. Running from us, running from us. Let's my baby. Oh my, my, my. Yo, he is. Le living for his, for every move of this. I'm living for it too, man. Yo, I like the color scheme of that. That was dope. Oh my, my, my. Come on, dance moves. Come through. <laughs> Yo, that's lit. Oh. There's a lot going on in this room here. In this warehouse. And into the shadows. Troy Savon goes. Alright guys, and that is My My My, the official music video, and again, the song itself, and if you haven't seen or heard the song, then I'm glad you're listening to it with me, but overall, it's a banger song, to me, it's a banger, it's a very dance kind of song, and now seeing the video and the, the visuals for it, it just makes me want to dance even more with it, like, it's lit. This song, just this, this vibe that I'm getting from this album so far, it's just very free, just being who you want to be, being you, being yourself, having a good time. Um, experience things that you wouldn't normally experience, you know? And so let's go on to this next track, guys. This one's called The Good Side. And let's just jump into it and see what my boy Troy Savant's talking about. <laughs> That's so cool too. To share, but I didn't call cause it wouldn't be fair. Then I got the good side. Ah, uh, okay. The production on what I'm hearing right now is. <laughs> Whoa, that was that was out there, but it sounded really cool. Wow. <laughs> okay. the good side, the good side of things. Alright guys, and that is the good side. And so that was a little more um, mellow, even more mellower than the first two tracks. The other two tracks were very kind of vibey a little bit, um, especially my my my. But this one kind of brings it down. It's just the guitar, and he really slows it down to really talk about how he and this person are no longer together. This person they moved on, um, but Troy is actually talking about how the person didn't end up so well. Troy Savon moved on found a new person to love, found a new person to be with. So he actually got the good side of moving on from this relationship whilst the other person is still being held back, still missing Troy, and they weren't able to move on as nicely as Troy was. And Troy is just like, look, I sympathize, I recognize, and I'm sorry for putting you through that, but I'm also sorry because I moved on and 
I'm living my good life, so I'm sorry, all right? But I, I, I sympathize with you, okay, buddy? But Troy moved on. You should too, all right, guys, all right? So we're on to the next track. It's called Bloom, the, the self-title of the album itself. Bloom, I've heard the song already. It's a banger as well, but the one thing I haven't seen is a music video for it, so we are going to watch the music video for this one as well, because why not? All right, guys, Troy Sivan's Bloom. Let's get it. Love the color of the, of the flowers, roses, love that. We're gonna bloom, baby, we're gonna bloom. Yep. Take a trip into my garden, I've got so much to show ya. The fountains and the waters are begging just to know ya, and it's true, baby. I did not know those were his lips, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kinda shook. But gas into the motor And boy, I'll meet you right there We'll ride a roller coaster Is it true? So Troy is feeling himself, huh? He is... Wig <laughs> Yo, his outfit is wild I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty crazy out there but, but the colors stand out and it's pretty dope at the same time. I don't know how I feel about the guy's muscles moving around like that. It's kind of weird. He's so free though. Like he is living his life. He's being himself. It's dope to see and watch this man. Get a choice of mine. Tell him about your sweet desire. Tell him about blooming all over the place. I like this outfit. It's probably my favorite out of all of them so far. Oh shit! I didn't know it was a skirt thing. Yo, Troy, holy shit. Slaying it, bruh. Just for me. Yo, that's pretty dope. Like I said, favorite outfit, man. Alright, guys, and that is My My My, the official music video. I Overall, based on the two music videos that I've seen so far, Jesse loves the pop of color, everything vibrant, it just makes sense. In this music video, it also very much makes sense. And then this song he's talking about, if you guys don't know, he's actually talking about losing him, his virginity or exploring his sexualness um, with the person and blooming for the first time. He's like, I bloom for you, I do this for you. And yeah, very, very mature content in the song itself. But um, that's what he's talking about, expressing himself openly to this other person and to his fans. Never would have guessed that based on the lyrics itself, but I went into deeper research and I've seen on other music videos and I've seen other videos and reactions of people explaining it and that's what it's about. So it's pretty cool to see. Alright, uh, so let's go on to the next track, you guys. This one is called Postcard, feature Postcard featuring Gordy. Let's jump into this. There's a, some explicitness. Let's check it out. Even wrote it in Japanese, baby. You didn't give a fuck. Wow. Cause I don't sleep like your body's on me. I won't feel right until we can be underneath everything that's between. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, be respectful. The piano in this sounds so beautiful too. I remember that night that you first called me crazy. Troy and uh Cordy? Only you picked it up. Wow, 
40 people. I don't think I've ever heard of this, this artist. Ooh, I like that. Alright guys, so that was Postcard by featuring Gordy, which again, Gordy I've never heard of, but on the vocals that he just gave in his chorus, it sounded pretty dope. Um, and actually, let me make sure that I don't know who that is, Gordy. Australian singer-songwriter, yeah, she sounded awesome. She, uh, You could tell that she was boring, and it sounded really nice. And the song overall, so my boy, so Troy Savon says that he sent a postcard all the way, postcard, I can't even say postcard, guys, postcard, all the way from Tokyo to someone, and even in Japanese for that person, but they said they don't receive it because they don't give a fuck. Said they didn't care, so they moved on. But now the song is really talks talking about how this person t sometimes talks to Troy, tries to get him back, but always seems to let go at some point. And Troy is like, you gotta stop doing that, that back and forth kind of thing because it doesn't work out and it's not fair. Um, that's really all the song is really about. This kind of back and forth between this person. And hopefully in the next track, they kind of get with that person and move on. So let me know what you guys think of all these tracks so far down in the comments below. We've gone through 17, My My My, The Good Side, Bloom, Postcard. And now we're going to jump into Dance to This featuring Ariana Grande, which I've actually already listened to and I've already seen the music video for. So I can't react to anything from this. So if you want to see my reaction to that, I'll leave that linked up in the iCard up here. Go check it out. It's a very, very cool music video. I liked it. They're just dancing around. It's pretty cool. Alright, so we're going to skip that one. We're on to the next track called Plum. And let's jump into this. Yeah. Ooh. Yo, I like that he just said, maybe our time has come, maybe we've overgrown, even the sweetest plum has only got so long. Baby, we're barely holding on, holding on, even the sweetest plum has only got so long. Sweetest plum, which could be the freshest plum, you've only got to, so much time before it starts to ripe, it gets old and nasty, so he's counting down the time between it could be a person or this relationship so far. Okay, production, come through. Yeah. Yeah, this is a vibe. It's upbeat, it's very summery. I think this might be my favorite song so far. Yeah. Ooh, I was summer, you were spring. No, you cannot. Yeah, I was summer, you were spring. Production's coming through, come on. Alright guys, and that is Plum, and like I said earlier, and I think like I said, it might be my favorite track so far that I've heard that I haven't listened to, so from the new songs that I've listened to, this is my maybe my favorite so far. It's upbeat, it's very summery, it's very vibey, almost an EDM vibe, like dance to this on the head, um, but not as much, um, and I like the message behind it, like again, you only have so much time to do something, and like a Plum, you could be, you could start off as beautiful as you want healthy, juicy AF as a plum would be, but you only have so much time before things start to happen, it starts to rot, it starts to decay, whatever it could be. Um, you have some, you have limited time and just, you have to be who you are and do what you want in the time that you have. Get one life, all right guys, you only get one life, okay? So this one I think is really just talking about being yourself, living your life to the fullest and doing what you can with the time that you have, okay? So let's go on to the next track. This one's called What a Heavenly Day to Die. It's a pretty aggressive title, but let's see what he's talking about. 
I'm guessing it might be about a relationship that he could have lost. It also could be about a relationship he didn't think he was going to get into, but he's like, you know, this is a heavenly way to die because this is a toxic relationship, but I like it. Type thing. Okay, let's jump in. Alright, guys. Another piano. Nights, long nights, there's no limit to your love. East and West, we got the noise lights, noise lights, oh. guys and that is what a heavenly way to die and this song is i was fairly close he is talking about a relationship and being in a relationship but this person is not toxic this person is actually a good person and uh and troy actually likes being with this person um and really he's just talking about a heavenly way to die is just being with this person until the end of time until we're, we we were done until we grow old and die basically um because he says, what a heavenly way to die, what a time to be alive, because forever is in your eyes, but forever ain't half the time I want to spend with you. So, this person that he's talking to or about has the same kind of relationship goals as Troy. They want to be with him forever, but Troy's like, yo, honestly, forever ain't half the time I want to be with you. I want to be with you, like, for eternity literally but let me know what you guys think of the song down in the comments below i liked it and we are nearing the end of this album we're on to the last two tracks this next one is called lucky strike Troy has hit a lucky strike in this one bada bing let's check it out guys oh, I wanna know just how to love you Oh, yo, that was nice again. All right. All right, before we move on to that next one, so I'm going to highlight this part right here because this is really giving us the definition behind the song. Because you're safe like springtime, short days, long nights, boy. Tell me all the ways to love you. Because you taste like lucky strikes, you drag, I like, boy. Tell me all the ways to love you. So, Lucky Strike apparently is a reference to the world's best known cigarette brand, which is this distinctive red on green bullseye design. So, so when Troy Savon is actually saying that this boy tastes like a Lucky Strike, he means he tastes, the boy tastes like a classic regular size 70 millimeter non-filtered cigarette, get, getting addicted to this love affair. Which makes sense. Makes sense. He basically is addicted to how this person tastes, how this person reacts and acts around Troy Savon. So that is awesome. All right, let's keep going, guys. Super interesting. I like the production so far in this song. Let's see if it gets better and more upbeat. Check it out. Alright guys, and that is Lucky Strike, and I know you guys got the meaning behind that. Let me know what you guys think of this overall track. I enjoyed that a lot, and like I said, I think that might be in my top three new songs that I liked off of this album. And at the end, I'm going to go over those top three songs with you guys to see if we've got the same top three in mind. So, that being said, let me know what you guys think of Lucky Strike down in the comments below, but that's a banger. Troy Savon, that's a banger. You know, you know what you're doing. Alright, and we have reached the last track. This one's called Animal. And so let's just go ahead and check this out. 
overall, man, this whole album has been quite the vibe. It's just been super, very vibey, very dancey. I've been da jamming along this entire time, and I don't hate it at all. No hate whatsoever. Animal, a animal. Imagine, <laughs> that'd be dead. Scary. I told you something safe. I can't keep my hands off you. Wow. While you're lying awake, covered all in the night before. I'm high, high, high. No one's got me quite like you. I'm a, I am an animal with you. Wow, that's a very soft chorus. As the days fly by, we'll be more than getting through. So also, I want to get the second verse here real quick. An ode to the boy I love. Boy, I'll die. I care for you. You're mine, mine, mine. Tell me, how do I owe that to you? Who do I owe that to? And as the days fly by and we'll be more than getting through, yeah, and in time, 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 we'll build a home for two. So, so far the song is about Troy being an animal, being a savage, and wanting more of this person to himself more than the person is giving to anyone else. He wants him to be full heartedly committed to Troy himself. And here he's just saying that in hope and time that I love you so much that we get to live and build our lives together. Woo, he is an animal. I'm an animal. Animal. Like Maroon 5 animal type shit. Love that song. Let me know if you guys know that song down in the comments below. But let's keep going. Okay, so this is a bridge. Okay. It's different. Yeah. All laid out, one way trip, we're in there. <laughs> he is in there. Yo. Alright guys, and that is Animal, the last track. And again, he's just talking about finally being free, being himself, full heartedly devoting himself to one person because person is really the guy then that he's looking for in a relationship okay um, he is what this guy is what he's looking for and Troy is willing to give out his all to keep this person with him and so overall I really enjoyed that song um, really overall this entire album I've enjoyed 1 through 10 all the way through there's I don't think any complaints I have no complaints whatsoever it all sonically sounded good to me there were production there was actually very little production in most of these tracks, which made it all the better. Nothing crazy going on. We don't need too much going on. Troy has an awesome voice, which he uses and makes the best in all of these tracks. It sounded amazing. So choice of mine, big shout out to you, man. Congratulations on Bloom. And I'd say I'd give it a solid 8 out of 10 as far as the rating goes for the entire album. It just sounded amazing. Like, it was really good. Um, so top three tracks off of this album guys I'm gonna definitely have to say this is really hard Lucky Strike, Plum and I think uh, 17 was also pretty good so those are my top three from the songs that I hadn't listened to prior to this so let me know what your guys' top three are in the comments below or which one's your top song overall from this album let me know in the comments below but also Dance to This is really good Bloom is really good you guys know that but new tracks Plum Lucky Strike and 17. Again, let me know what you guys think of those strikes down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. And if you guys want to see more Troy Savon reactions, let me know in the comments below. But that is all I have for you guys. Again, don't forget to check out my latest reaction right here. My latest Menlo Club unboxing right here. To check out the latest and greatest in Menlo Club stuff. Go check it out, guys. Thank you again, and I will see you guys in the next one. Alright, guys. See ya.